Hey, I'm Carrie Milbank, and this is Tennis Week, your source for everything on and off the court in the world of tennis. The Sony Ericsson Open officially kicked off on Wednesday with world number three Novak Djokovic back to defend his title. Fellow Serbian and world number two Ana Ivanovic will also be in Miami, where the two are looking to win back to back titles after their victories at Indian Wells. As the two compatriots continue to have success, talk of them taking over the world number one spot has intensified. Djokovic is about 1,200 points behind Roger Federer, but he has less than half as many points to defend, thus making it possible for him to overtake Federer, especially if Federer continues his streak of lackluster performances. The possibility of becoming the world number one is not lost on Djokovic. When asked about his successful start, Djokovic responded, I need to stay calm and just go step by step and try to get my lifetime goal, which is to be number one. It's getting closer, but still I don't want to go too fast and skip some things. I really need to be consistent with my results in the most important events, major events. On the women's side, world number two, Ana Ivanovic, is a little further behind number one, Justine Enna, and it seems less likely that she'll overtake the Belgian. However, Ivanovic will probably close the distance on Enna and is the most likely heir to the number one spot. It just may not happen this season. Crossing over into the world of competitive dancing has proven to be a challenge so far for former world number one, Monica Seles. After a shaky start in her Dancing with the Stars debut, Monica Seles struggled again with her footwork. A couple of missteps proved costly, and it was game, set, match, as the former world number one was voted off the show. That's all for now, but log on to TennisWeek.com for live scores and updates from the Sony Ericsson Open. Thanks for watching.